Hi everyone, my name is Trevor. I wear and use fragrance as a form of self-expression. So today we're first sniffing two of Troy Sivan's scents. We have Luca and we have Pool. Uh, Troy Sivan's fragrance company is called Su Long Yor, translates to, to long years, I believe in Yiddish. Uh, both of the fragrances, they're 50 milliliters. They're, married, they're also made in Australia. Uh, they're eau de parfums. Um, so the boxes, they say to long years on the side. It also says, please open your sample first. So each of them came with a little sample inside of here. So I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna sniff it before I open the box. Um, and I'm gonna wear it on my skin. I'll give you some first sniffs. I'll do pool on one arm and then I'll do Luca on the other. And then I'll come back later in this same video and I will review how things are going. So if the scent develops at all and longevity. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Let's talk about first sniffs. So let's start with pool. I don't wanna re-look at the scent notes right now. I remember looking at it um, looking at it when I was purchasing. So here's a little sample that it comes with, a fair amount in there. I'm gonna spritz on the skin and then I'm gonna give it a little, a little second there to let it settle before I do my sniffs. I already smell it. It reminds me of a pool. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is... <laughs> This is interesting. This is unlike any other celebrity type perfume. I feel like celebrity type for perfumes, they try to appeal to the masses, right? So I feel like they're, they go for safer fragrances. This one is bold. So this one smells fresh and green and aquatic. I'll tell you the notes in a second, the real notes that they explain, but fresh and green and aquatic, but not in a way that I'm really used to. This reminds me of the type of aquatic, like maybe it's a salt pool, like a salt pool in the desert at a fancy home. So the, uh, I say in the desert because there's something very cactusy about this. Yeah. Oh, this one is interesting. This one is interesting. I don't know if this would be like an everyday wear for me, but definitely like by the pool. My husband and I, we do have a salt pool, but we live up in Canada. Yeah, very cactusy, very, it feels very artsy somehow, very sophisticated, like you're going for a night out where there's art installations like Nuit Blanche or something. Whew. Fascinating. Okay, Troy Savon, I see you. So that was Pool. Now let me read the scent notes for Pool. Um, oh, they give like general notes and then they say top, mid, and dry. So the general notes, they say berry, fruits, summer, green. Okay. Top is cucumber, lychee, raspberry, Italian bergamot. Mid is tomato leaf, a crushed coriander, muguet, and cassis. And then on the dry is ginger, capsicum, and musk. So muguet, if I'm not, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but if I'm not mistaken, that's just lily of the valley, and capsicum on the dry is a bell pepper. So yes, very fresh, very green, very interesting. I remember I was interested in this one because of the lychee. I don't necessarily... I don't necessarily smell the lychee, but it also does smell like a fairly well-blended scent. Um, yeah, bold, interesting, I like it. Okay, so next one is Luca. So Luca, I remember I purchased because Troy Savan, I think was wearing it and he posted on social media that he liked the way it, it smelled. So I was like, I wanna see what Troy Savan smells like. So um, here, let me open this up. This one is a little heavier. Oh, this one is too. They're both Luca, right? I've seen companies do this with their samples where they send a couple of the same. This is both Luca. Um, I think probably in hopes that I give one away and someone else likes it. So Luca, let's spritz it. I'm gonna spritz it on the other arm. So then I'm gonna let it calm down just for a second. Oh, I can smell it a bit. 
Oh, both of these are bold fragrances. Wow, Troy. Neither of these are like any celebrity fragrances I've smelt before. Okay, this is probably dry enough. So this one is much more woodsy, maybe vetiver, incense, that type of fragrance. Very fall, very woodsy, very also sophisticated. This one's neat. This one is kind of like, this one to me is like a fall and maybe into winter fragrance. It's also a bold one. It smells quite strong. Mind you, I just sprayed it, so maybe it'll, it'll dry down to softer. So the fragrance notes on Luca, let me read. So in general, the notes say woods, amber, spice, and young citrus. Um, top notes are bergamot, black pepper, Elemi, I'm not sure what Elemi is. Mid is moss, cedarwood, clary, sage. And on the dry, it says ambrox, musk, and sandalwood. Yes, yeah, so very woodsy. And you know what? This one reminds me a little bit, just a little bit, of Willow Woods from the Skylar brand. The Skylar brand maybe has like a sharper incense -y type note. This one is maybe a tad bit more blended in or rounded out. Both of them are really nice. I'm gonna wear them. I'll maybe do like a little spritz in each arm as well. I'm gonna wear them for the rest of the day. Uh, and I'll come back and I'll report my final thoughts. Oh. Morning. It's the next day, lighting has changed, clothes have not. Okay, so I have good news. We're gonna be opening up pool. My husband really liked this one. I had him smell it when he got home. Um, so this one is a definite yes. Alrighty, so this one just like slides open. Can we do this together? Can we do it together? Oh, yay. So nice. Okay, so here's the bottle for pool. It says Sulang Yor, what a parfum made in Australia, 50 mils. Cute little bottle. Clear liquid. Oh, oh cute. And the atomizer, so here, I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna spray on the pool card. Nice atomizer. So yes, my husband smelled this when he got home. I asked him what he picked up. He said cucumber right away. And yes, cucumber is in the notes. And usually his nose isn't that great at picking up notes, but he said cucumber. And I was shocked. I was like, good for you. <laughs> usually it's so off, his nose is so off that if something is like a laundry smelling scent, he would be like, starbursts. And I'm like, mm, no, you tried. So he really enjoys this one. I also really like this one. We both think it has a very like, he mentioned Kensington Market in Toronto, which is a very like hippie selling like vegan handbags and clothing and um, like all natural soaps. It's a very like all natural, vegan hipstery type place um so yes we find this one enjoyable that is pool it is now part of our collection we're also going to open up luca it's the more smoky incensey one this one my husband didn't like as much this one was more floating around in here which i'm not super thrilled about but what are you gonna do it's like the there's a better view of it here. I'm gonna leave my finger on it. This black part was forward and the bottle was uh, in the back kind of floating around. I mean, that happens. It was being shipped from Australia as long as nothing's wrong with it. The label was pushed forward just a tad. Here, I pushed it back. So that's Luca. Let me spray Luca and make sure the atomizer is okay. So top is very similar, has that little pop off of it, which I like to hear. It's very cute. Nice atomizer. So this one will be more for me. It is very like Willow Woods from Skylar. I know I already said that, um, but I think I enjoy this one a little bit more. There's a little less smokiness incense in this. It's a little more blended. So I might even sell Willow Woods, don't tell Skylar, um, and keep the choice of on Luca. Um, as a whole, 
my husband and I both thought that these both had like individual personalities. They were exciting to smell. It seems like Troy and his perfumer are both very creative and there was time and effort and love put into these fragrances. So I find that very exciting. So I'm gonna be wearing Luca throughout the fall, winter. It's not an everyday scent. It's more when I'm in like a mysterious, cool, sophisticated type mood. And pool does sound like a scent for my husband for every day. He now has like a little bit of a, ro a rotation. He is more into like the fresh type scents. So both of these do project really well. I would say they stopped projecting around like the four to five hour mark, but then pool lasts much longer on the skin when I went to bed last night. So that was eight hours after I spritzed my arm. Um, it was still on my arm and even this morning I could smell a little hint of pool. Luca was gone off of my skin I would say after about eight hours. I typically don't need a fragrance to last more than that and I don't really mind re-spritzing myself. I know a lot of people don't like that um, but at that point I might even change scents. <laughs> So I hope these reviews helped you a little bit. Um, both Luca and Pool, the fragrance of them, stayed generally the same right from the opening all the way until I couldn't smell them anymore. They softened, of course, which I enjoyed, and then they became like a little more wearable, a little less like obscure. Um, so if you're into the kind of fresh cactus by the pool, um, there's something that almost feels like it's radiating heat at the same time. So it's fresh, it's green, it's earthy then pool might be for you. If you're into the woods, lightly spiced, vetiver, very fall, winter, sophisticated type scents, then I would give Luca a try. But I do find them both very exciting. I hope this helped you. I do hope you can get the, your noses on these. Um, maybe one day even before you buy, maybe this will be in a store. Um, I'm over here in Canada and these aren't in a store anyway, so I did blind buy. I'm going to keep them both. Um, I do hope I can get my nose on the third one, the TLY, and then there's some numbers like 52, 55 or something. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but I do hope that I can sniff that one day. Okay, I hope you're having a good day and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye!